In this video, we're going to look at how to set up and use the machine make and model selection inside of Bobcat. What this will do is it will allow you to default the post processor, the save location for files, the file extension, and a few other settings for your machine specific parameters. So we'll come over to our cam tree and we'll go under cam part. You'll see here is milling tools. We'll right click and then we'll go to current settings. In the current settings on the machine tab, you can see that there's a machine make and a machine model. So let's say that we want to set up our own machine makes and machine models in here. This will allow us to default these settings such as the file extension, the file path, the post processor, as well as any cutting conditions files that we may be using. Now to access the machine setup, what we need to do is we need to actually close out a Bobcat and the machine setup is located inside of the Bobcat Cam directory. You can get to this through your My Computer icon by going through Program Files and Bobcat Cam. Or a quick way to do this is just to right click the shortcut that you have to Bobcat, go to Properties, and then choose Find Target. And what that will do is it will launch the folder that contains Bobcat. So now we'll go ahead and scroll through this and you'll see that there's going to be a milling machine setup.exe file what you want to do is double click this file and what this will do is it will just pop up a little editor that gives you a choice of machines and settings first we'll look at the machines tab here we have make and model now you'll want to leave your selection type from registry you really won't want to change too many of these settings but under machines you could see here is the same list that we have in Bobcad for the make and the models now we come in and we can actually remove some of these machines I'm just going to click remove machine until we only have one left. I'm going to come over to my settings and we're going to rename this. Let's call this a Fanook and let's say that the model in this case is an OM. Now for the post I'm going to go ahead and select. I'm going to choose my Fanook OM post. We'll choose open and we'll say the cutting conditions are allowed. We'll go ahead and leave the default ones and we'll say that the NC file path for this is usually saved to my desktop and the file extension on this Fanook will say is .tap. So we won't have to reset this every time that we switch machines. It's definitely a three axis mill so we'll leave this setting and rotary clearance is reserved for future use. We'll just leave that alone and maximum number of tools. We'll go ahead and say that this has a 20 tool changer. Tool change position. This really isn't used in the code. Uh, this is also reserved for future use. And then our maximum spindle speed and maximum feed rate. These can be set here. Whether or not we use subprograms, if they're allowed at all, and whether or not we actually use subprograms, we'll turn off the default for using subprograms. We'll go ahead and allow the system to output comments. And we'll choose save. Now let's go ahead and add another machine as well. We'll come to machines. I'm just going to add a second one so that we can see it. We'll say add machine and we'll just call it my custom machine and we'll say that this is custom one. And we'll leave the default settings. Now we'll come over and we'll add another model under that as well. We'll come over to our settings and we'll call this uh, custom2. And we'll save. Now we'll close out of the editor and we'll go ahead and launch Bobcat again. Now inside Bobcat, we come over to our cam tree. We'll come under cam part, right click milling tools. Now we'll go back to our current settings. So in current settings, we could see that we have that Fnook that we set up. In this case, it's an O models and OM. It's a milling machine. We could see that it's used the default path, the default file extension, as well as the post that we had selected is automatically set up. And when we choose this machine, it's then set up inside of the milling stock. And when we come back to the current settings, we could see under machine, we had also set up a My Custom Machine. And this has two different models now, Custom 1 and Custom 2. So that's how you set up your machine file inside of Bobcad to use the machines that you have available in your shop and these will allow you to set up some of the default settings inside of Bobcat. And that concludes this video.